Okay, so we're going to dive into this bespoke tech pack. Um, you receive two versions. The first version is this Canva version. So as you can see, I'm in Canva. Um, some of this is filled out, but we're actually going to do it together. And then you also receive this version, um, which is in uh, Google Docs. And I'm going to explain why um, I've given you two, because you can use both of them, but you would use both of them for maybe different reasons. It's literally up to you and your business. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let's start with this one. Um, I'm going to start with this one because this is the one that you would use um, if you want to Maybe if you're working with a, um, any sewers, you outsource, you work with any manufacturers, um, anything like that. If you do any of that um, kind of thing, you would use this version, which is again in Google Sheets, um, to um, be able to literally, you can hit share here, and you can type in the email address of the person you want to send it to. So you can see some of my um, emails there. Um, those, it depends on who I've sent this to, but a lot of the different emails that pop up, um, you know, if you send it to the same people all the time, you'll, you'll get similar emails. So there are different ones in there, like my husband, um, my part-time job, all that stuff. But anyway, um, so I want to show you the different pages. So this first page is called the cover page. This page um, just kind of shows you see here, like there's two sketches front and back. This was for an actual customer. That's why it's filled out. This has the write up, um, that information that I, um, you know, say is extremely important. If you're working with um, a manufacturer or you're outsourcing your sewing, you need them to know what, um, what and how to make your your garment. Um, here is this part right here. So the description is also called a write up. Um, for the purposes of this, I don't call it a write up here, um, but this is basically the write up. Um, here's the date. Um, here's a style number. It says my client's name because at that time I wasn't using style numbers. But when I show you this example, I'm going to actually use a style number. And then the um, next one you see is fabrics. So I put down the different fabrics I would use. We have the color and we have bra size. And the reason why I put bra size, um, I've ex explained this before, but um, it just helps um, to understand the depth of the person's um, bust because um, if they're really small busted, you're gonna have um, you know, sh more shallow depth. And if they are more um, you know, larger busted, they're gonna have a, a bigger depth and you have to think about like your front drops and all that stuff. Um, so here um, I put event date and I put need by date, but I will tell you that um, I no longer um, put event dates usually. Um, and instead I will put like a month or so um, ahead of time of their event or the date that they say they need it by. So the date that maybe um, my sewers might see is not going to be their actual um, event date. That way I can, you know, be done with this way sooner. And then, like I said, here's the sketches. We got front and back here. Um, if you don't have front and back of your sketch, I will show you what I did on my other um, tech pack that's in Canva. And then this is an example measurement form. Again, this is already filled out, just no sketches here, but this is already filled out, all that same information at the top. But then here, this is where you put the specs. And um, I really only use this side, um, but when I worked in the industry, I would, this, is, this means required, so this is what I re or requested. This is what I would request when I would say, I want the bus to be 38.5. Um, but I also used to do like a lot of fittings for the companies I work for, like maybe anywhere between 10 to 20 a day. And so sometimes the, the sample would come back, not actually um, this. And so I would be required to measure it out and then write what the um, actual um, measurements of the sample was. And if it's way too far off, I will ask them to revise it. Um, or let's say it, it is kind of close to this, but I realize it's a little bit too big or too small. I might put a new um, measurement here. So this is good if you decide that you want to work with manufacturing partners and things like that. But if not, you can skip all this. This is why it's all blank here. But as you can see, you know, I put um, a bunch of different measurements. A lot of these measurements are uh, measurements that I use back in the um, industry. So I just kind of use them still. Um, but I like to get even more in depth. So I usually even use more. I'm not going to go too deep into measurements and stuff like that, because this is not really a measurement class. But I just wanted to let you know that like, you can add more. And let me show you how you can add different measurements. So I'm not going to disturb these because these are still ones I, I, I um, use often. Instead, I'm going to click here. 
and I'm gonna write, um, this doesn't have a sleeve. I'm gonna just pretend it does. So sleeve length from shoulder. And you see it's starting to pop up. It's because I've written that here before and your copy, it will do the same thing as well. So if you want sleeve length from shoulder, you need to, um, you know, you could just use what's already there, but this just lets you know that as you start typing, it will auto populate if you've written it before. Um, I'll write another one that, that I'm sure is not here. We'll say cuff width. So if I was doing like a, um, if I was doing a uh, sleeve that had a, a, a long, it's a long sleeve and then there's the cuff um, around your wrist, I might put cuff width. Um, and then I might say, um, I'm just gonna try to remember one. I think maybe like seven. No, no, that sounds really big. I think maybe like four, like 4.5. I'm just coming off the top of my head right now, but you can see that you can auto populate things um, if it's already there. And if not, you can write it in. Um, so I'm just gonna delete this because I don't wanna confuse y'all as you're using this, but just keep that in mind that you can change up the measurements and all that stuff that's in here. Um, and I have a bunch of measurements. You can move things around. So I'll show you how to move something. So I just, I'm selecting, sorry, I'm selecting so I'm pressing the shift key on my computer. I do have a MacBook, so I'll try to make sure to say control um, or command. But um, I'm pressing the shift key. I'm pressing the next one below it. So you see how it high it got highlighted. <laughs> um, and then I'm pressing the next one. And so now all of those are selected. I'm um, left clicking on my mouse and I could like cut, I could copy, I could paste. I'm gonna press copy and then I'm going to like click into another um, another one of these. These are called cells or fields. You can say that too. I'm gonna right click and then I'm going to press paste and see all those words just went down there. So like if I need to move things around, if I com need to completely change things, if I need to add stuff, if I want to you know, change up what you see here, that's what I would do. Okay, so I just deleted it because I wanna keep everything pretty clean and clear. Um, and then let's go to the example detail sheet. So this one, um, I don't have a lot of information in this because I actually, this, like I said, this was a real customer. And so I actually sent pictures via email and I'm gonna show you how I do that really quickly. Um, and I do think um, I might create some tech, some templates for that. Um, so they might be free because they're like, it's simple. It's kind of like what I use to present to the client and I use it to um, send if I'm just trying to get a quote or I wanna, um, you know, work with a pattern maker, you know, any of that sort of thing. So here, as you can see, here's the sketches again. Um, a real detail sheet might have this, um, like way bigger and um, so you can really look at um, the example. Um, and I'm not gonna do that today, um, even on this one. I'm actually gonna do that in the Canva one just because, um, you know, I don't wanna take a whole lot of time, but I will tell you that you just play around with it. I'm gonna um, add a picture See if I can add a picture. So I, I'm right clicking um, just anywhere within here and I'm going to press insert, wherever that is, insert. For some reason I'm not seeing it, so let me see. Okay, instead I'm gonna delete this one and see if I can just insert it this way. Maybe it's because there's too much stuff in here already. So I'm deleting both of these. I'll bring them back. All right, so I'm gonna go up here to the uh, menu um, I'm going to press insert and then I'm going to um, and you have to stay on top of it or else it'll, it'll go away and I'm going to press image and I'm just going to put any picture in here just because I want you to see so I'm going to just choose um, an image that I have of like one of my wedding dresses it's not going to have anything to do with this dress it's just so that you can see it so um, for this I like to choose insert image over cells because if you insert it within sometimes it'll it'll be like within this little tiny part right here and that's not very helpful so I'm pressing insert image over cells and I'm going to press browse. And I'm going to use this sketch right here. So I'm putting that sketch in. And so as you can see, actually, this is not a sketch. This is um, something that I'm working on. But um, as you can see, it just dropped that picture in there. So I'm just going to go back by pressing um, Command Z or Control Z on a um, Windows computer. Um, and that just brought everything back. So just keep in mind that you can change the pictures um, and the best way to do that would be to navigate up here. I remember that there used to be the, op the option um, here, but for some reason, I, I just don't see it. So don't even worry about that, just use here. And then um, this is the example notion sheet. Again, this one doesn't have anything in it. Um, and the main reason is because I actually use um, 
you know, just sending pictures separately and that sort of thing. Um, it's really up to you what you feel most comfortable with. I do think to start off, it could be great to learn how to use this. Um, and so again, I would have, I'm, I'm just click out of this real quick. So when I click here, I'm pressing insert and then I can come down and insert an image. I'm not gonna do it now because I wanna jump into the Canva version, um, but um, you know, you can even write here. So I left this space um, open so that you could write. So in order to write, you're going to need to grab, let's see, oh, I should be able to, nope, I shouldn't. So it looks like it won't let me write. Let me see if I can insert text. Let's see. And like I was saying, I actually don't use this very much. So you should be able to insert text here. I don't know why I'm not able to insert text. Um, there's, for some reason, I don't know how, I don't know what's happening right now. Um, because like I said, in fact, I'll, I'm just going to navigate to the other, um, the other, uh, tech pack, but let me just show you real quickly. So this was all examples, which I usually have something in here. So you can see that first, the first two, I think were the only ones that had something on it. But um, if you want to, you could fill out everything. So all three had it. This doesn't have the words. So I'm going to bring the words over and then um, I'll show you the pages that you should work on. So these are just for example that you can reference whenever you need to. Um, or if you if you want to take um, measurements, if you want to, you know, whatever, you can take it from that one. But I'm going to grab the text here. So again, this is like the write up, as I mentioned um, before, um, you know, just copying it. I'm going to go to Let's go to example detail sheet. Um, I double click so I can actually be in this field. And you can either go up here and press to um, insert it, or, and let me just click out of this so you can see, or I control Z, and then I can click actually in the box and then press control V, and also the words are there. And so I just want to try something real quick because I believe that that's what I can do here as well. Paste. Yes. All right. So the only thing is it messed up the box. Um, so let me just show you real quick how you would format it. If you know anything about Excel, um, it's a similar way to use it. So um, you see how all the words are going all off the, the wall and it didn't fit into that little box that I pre-created. Um, I'm gonna make everything just be on top of each other. So imagine if you have like a swatch of fabric here. Um, so again, make sure you're clicked somewhere around here. Um, make sure you, con you know control or um, command A. So you select everything, press format and then press uh, wrapping, and then press wrap. So now I have this little box that has that information. Now, again, this wouldn't say this, it would say like mesh fabric or um, Duchess satin or crystal organza or something like that. I'm just making up ones off the top of my head. Um, but just keep in mind, that's what you would put on yours. Um, you know, something that has to do with this detail you have here or this notion. Um, all right, so the last thing I wanna show you is just um, what you should do when you first open this up, okay? So when you first open this up and you're ready to start using it, I want you to make a copy, okay? Your version, you will not be able to immediately start doing work on it because you're gonna just be having like a copy of this and it will have, um, I think viewing rights, not um, editing rights, but this is how you can get editing rights. So you're gonna just navigate here to this main menu, press file, and then I want you to hit make a copy, um, change the name, um, depending on what you're creating. Um, like if I'm doing this for a bride or a client, I might put that client's name. And if I'm doing this for a, uh, like my collection, I might put the style number or the style name, you know, whatever works for me, but I'll show you real quick. I'm just gonna put, um, we're gonna pretend this is for, let's take off master dress designers tech pack. First of all, remove that that's just so you know what this file is. And then instead I'm gonna put uh, Bride Tiffany. I'm gonna say Bride Tiffany, okay. And then I'm gonna press, also, sorry, one more thing. At the end of it, it says by Danny Simone. So that way you know that this is a copyrighted material, copywritten material and you cannot copy this or sell it as your own um, or else um, I will bring my lawyer after you. And I do have a lawyer. Um, there are things y'all don't know about me, but um, you know, I worked in nonprofits and like you literally need to have a, a lawyer to do a lot of the stuff with them. So I do have a lawyer. So don't be trying to copy this and sell this. Um, but anyway, just delete 
where it says my name and you can put your brand i'm gonna put a style number i'm gonna say style number style with a hashtag number let's say because for me i put dsc that means danny simone couture with a dash and then like 0067 i just made that number up um you would try to stick to um sequential numbers and you could start at 001 but a lot of people start at like 10 or 100 or something it's up to you um, you just don't want to run out of numbers and of course you wouldn't ever really run out of numbers but you just need to make sure you're you have you know if you use four if you use three that you um still have enough numbers left um because we in this for the long haul right and then we're pressing make a copy and it's making a copy it's thinking about it but now i have another one of these um and if you're sending this off you can just delete these sheets that you don't need so delete i'm deleting all of these Delete, delete, and one more delete. So now I have this clean copy that I would work off of. I would remove these words. You know, I wouldn't have these words here. Um, but remember, you just need to make a, a copy of this. So that way you're not working on your original. And then um, I would remove this. So I'm going to just delete this. And we're going to put a picture. So again, I showed you how to put a picture. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the um, the one that I'm working off of. So this is an example of what I send both to the client as well as um, if I'm sending it out to be made. This I made two options of it. So in reality, I could just remove option two since we're just going with option two. Um, but this shows you all this the sketches and the different versions of this. And it's not versions. It's just like um, let me just show you real quick. All right. The first version has um, the corset, the skirt, and then the bow. So corset, skirt, bow. Second version, just corset and skirt. This is so it's clear that this is a two-piece dress and you could remove that bow. There's also um, a little sleeve, like a little flutter sleeve, if you can see it there. So corset, flutter sleeve, skirt. Then um, corset, no flutter sleeve, um, bow and skirt. Corset, flutter sleeve, skirt, bow and then corset um, over skirt okay and then bow corset flutter sleeve bow over skirt and the the last version of that would also be um i don't know if i put it let me see let's see i, th I think there's one more version i guess um just corset and over skirt and that's it so no bow on it this is just so that's clear that this is removable I am going to just navigate down here because I've already done the write up for this um, and i'm just going to um, control a so i'm like you know or command a so that i'm um, copying it and then we're just going to go right back to here. And I can write all that here i'm just going to press i'm actually going to do it up here control V. And um, I want to just tell you if your description is like really huge, just like mine is, it's really long. I don't have to put all this up here, but I, I did because I like to share this over and over again. So there's no confusion about how I want this made, but um, I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm going to go to sizing and I'm gonna make it like eight. Let's see, the eight help. I'm also gonna make it not bold. Eight didn't really help. I think I might make it like six. The truth is I wouldn't make it that small, like in reality. But the thing is, since this is on um, the computer, I can just come closer. Um, I can just, you know, zoom in. So up here where it says 100%, this allows you to zoom. So I could hit like, I think maybe 150 is good. So now it's readable. If I hit 200, now it's really readable, you know? So you can come in and out with the sizing and all that stuff. Um, here, I would write the style number, I would say this, the fabrics, her bra size if I have it, the color, um, and all those different things, okay? And then um, I want to do it on the measurement form. So this is the last part that I'm going to show you on this tech pack, but I'm just navigating down here. I don't know if I said it earlier, um, but this section right here is just, it's basically this again, but um, like when I worked in the industry, I might go even deeper saying like the type of needle, so double needle, I used to do um, knits, so um, split double needle, double needle, um, what else, split over stitch, um, 
over stitch, you know, I might say whatever, top stitching, one quarter inch top, top stitching, three eighths inch top, top stitching, you know what I'm saying? So I might put that, put that information. But in this case, um, for the purposes of this, I don't think you need it unless you really, really need it. But you could also just use pictures. And we're going to do that in the Canva version. But I'm just going to hit Control V or Command V. And now all of those, um, the thing, all, everything that I, you know, just talked about is there. Um, you can also right here, let me get closer. I'm going to do like 150. because I feel like I want to see this really good. So see how I have that. Um, this is just me. This is something I like. So see how I have the um, semi semicolon here. Um, I'm just double clicking in front of the word corset. I'm pressing enter. Sorry, I did it on the wrong one. <laughs> of course. So here. Okay. So I'm pressing on, I'm pressing in front of the corset and then I'm going to go like this, like just space like that and then come out of it. And that just made it go to another line. Um, let's see another way to do this. And hopefully it works today. Sometimes there's like little gremlins that make it not work too great. So I'm just going to click. Let's see. I can't find the bullets. Maybe there are no bullets. Maybe maybe I'm crazy. Maybe they used to be. I don't know. I don't see bullets. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I sometimes like to, to list things with bullets or numbers. I just don't see it today. I feel like I'm not seeing a lot of stuff on here that I, I thought was here. I don't know. Maybe they did some updates and move things around. Um, but regardless, what I just showed you will allow it to go on another line. You can also just put a number in front and then space until you get another line. But um, just keep in mind, this section right here, you can use just to put your write up. Um, comments, again, if you were working with um, multiple um, samples, like let's say um, you, you do fittings, let's say, um, and the first time you do that fitting, you could write here um, information like it needs to be such and such um, changes or do this or do that to change it or whatever, you know, um, but for the purposes of what um, most of the folks who are going to be looking at this, you don't need to do all that. So you don't always have to put anything in the comments. Okay, so that's it for this one. Let's jump into the Canva version. So I really love the Canva version. The reason why I love it is because it's super straightforward, super easy to use. So with this one, same deal, you would make a copy of it. I'm not going to make a copy. I'm just going to show you how you do it but you hit file and you hit make a copy. Now, I just wanna add that this is, I do have Canva Pro. If you don't have Canva Pro, it's time for you to upgrade. I'm gonna tell you why. This is the main reason why you should upgrade to Canva Pro. Um, because you're a designer, you need to have every bit of the tools that they have in this program available to you. And so Canva Pro gives you literally anything you need to succeed um, when you're creating your, uh, you, you know, branding materials, um, you know, templates, and even using this tech pack. So a lot of the things you're going to see me do right now um, do require you to have Canva Pro. It is not free, but it is cheap. I think it's like $12.99 a month, or you can pay um, in full at like 20% off or something for the year. Um, and that's a business ex expense, and I think like it's so needed. So make sure you get Canva Pro. All right, so let's talk about, first of all, um, the different things that's in it. Um, so first, you know, up here is how you change the name. We will do that later. This page tells you to make a copy. Um, again, you hit this file here and then hit make a copy. Um, it's going to give you the different options. Um, if you don't have Canva Pro, it is actually harder to make copies. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, and then um, let's jump into the first page. So the first page is just like the other one where you have um, the, it's a cover page. Okay, you can see the names down here. So here are the names down here. Um, this version is an example, as you can see, it says example tech pack. You could just make a copy of this one and then just change the pictures. But I also give you a fresh clean copy because if you navigate up here, I'm gonna just get close so you can see it. This says my business name, you know, it says my business name, my website, and all that stuff. But you can click in here. I'm going to put so couture, right? Pretend that's your name. You know, you can put your name in here. Um, it says my address. It says my website. It says all that stuff. You can change literally everything that's in here. Um, the next thing you see up here in this top right corner, 
um, is need by date, client or style number, and size. So I just want to say this real quick. You can use this to communicate with manufacturer if you want to. You would just um, send, you, um, Canva allows you to send links, but with this, in the case of this, I would actually just send them um, a copy by downloading the PDF. And this is how you download. You press share, you press download, and then here, this shows you the different file types. You need it to be a PDF because that's a document. Um, these two are images and the rest we're not even talk about, but um, you would press PDF standard. You wanna make sure all pages are um, you know, here. So every page is checked and then you would press download. Um, and then you would um, just um, you know, create an email and send it to whoever you need to send it to, but you can also just print it out for yourself. So if I was to print again, uh, I said download, sorry. So you, you do need to do all the downloading, right? And then you um, use whatever program you use for printing and you'd be able to print it out. Um, but again, so so back to this page. So this is the cover page. As you can see here, again, I don't have a back and front or front and back, um, but technically that's what you should put here. But sometimes like, let's say I don't have the full back done. I might um, look for images that are similar and place them here, okay? So keep that in mind, you can do that as well. Okay, this is the spec sheet or the measurement sheet. It does say garment specifications and it says spec sheet here. Just remember this means um, measurements. Um, and here, similar to um, the Google Tech Pack, you can you know, change the words, um, you can copy and put them in different lines. So I'm actually not gonna do that yet. I'm going to actually fill this out with you with not all of the um, different points that you need, but um, many of them. So I'm not gonna do it yet, but we will do that together. Um, and then of course you can put this sketch here. And I usually just put the front one. I don't put front and back unless I really need to. And the reason why I don't put front and back is because here I gave you two detail sheets. The truth is you can make as many copies as you need to. Um, so here, these are call outs. The image, I, I don't know what I did. I think right before I started this, I was playing around with it. So I think I took it off, but I will show you how to use the call outs and how to place them here. Um, and your sketch should be here or your, you know, your, your gown or your design or whatever. If it's reference images, it should be here. Um, same thing, this one here, um, I, th I think it's because this dress, even the, the, the original dress that was on this tech pack had um, multiple pieces. If you can see, there's a skirt underneath. You don't see the top of the dress, but it's like a, um, like a midi, a midi uh, corset dress. And then it has this detachable skirt on top. So I think here I had the midi corset dress by itself. And now here, this was supposed to have that underskirt, but we will work on that together in a second. So you can put, um, you can do multiple detail sheets and I'll show you how to make copies of detail sheets in just a moment. And then here you can also place, this is the notions and trims um, sheet. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. I just realized like I'm talking to you guys and you don't see the name of each sheet at the top, but it, with this one, you would change um, the pictures here. If you print this out, you can literally copy, sorry, you can literally staple the actual fabric to this. You can tape down beads, um, but in this digital world, like take a picture of it and upload it to Canva and put it here, okay? All right, so let's start playing with this. So again, remember before you start, make a copy of this. Um, you can make a copy also in the main menu on Canva, but let's first add the style number. So I'm navigating up here again. I'm gonna make this close down because I hate how it changes up my whole screen and then I can't really see nothing. All right, so up here, you are gonna need to grab a text from this side. So I'm hitting text, I'm hitting body because I want it to be smaller. I'm still going to have to make it smaller, but whatever. Um, and then I'm moving over here and I'm placing this right here. And so this is a real dress and her wedding is in August. So um, I would say I would like this by end of June. So I will say June. Oops, it didn't. It's not typing because why would it? Okay, so June. Actually, I'm not even going to write June. I'm going to put six. 15, 24. I'm putting that far because that gives us so much time. If there are any kinks, I can work it out. If there are any alterations needed, I can work it out. If she needs to do anything, um, I can work all of that out ahead of time. And so I have this at 10, I'm gonna put it at eight. 
I could probably even do a little bit smaller, but I'm not going to. And then I'm just going to press plus to duplicate it. And I'm going to put this style number. And let me grab the style number from the, actually do need to make it smaller. I'm going to just delete this real quick. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because this section is real tiny, you know? So I'll say six. You want it to be about the same size as the, um, the words there. And don't worry about the font. I chose, like, I, I use a really simple font for this. You can do the same thing. I'm going to get close because I feel like I'm just hanging out, trying to work this out, and it needs to be close. But here we are. I put 615 here. And then I'm going to click off of it, press plus again, that duplicated it for me. And then I'm going to put the style number, which is here. Um, I'm just gonna, oh, yeah. So one second, let me just highlight it. All right. Um, going back to that, I will place a number here. I just copy and paste it. So guess what? I have to go even smaller for this because the, the the it's long, you know. So that's what I'm doing. I somehow have an errant um, colon there, so just ignore that colon and pretend like it's not there. And then I'm just you know placing this here. For some reason, it won't let me do it properly. Okay, one more way to duplicate. Um, you can right click. And then it'll give you copy, style, paste, duplicate, delete. Just press duplicate. It's the same thing as pressing these plus signs. And then I'll just slide this over. And I have 22 US is her size. Um, but I could also put her bust, I think, 44 double D. You know? And I could even put her height. And I think she's 5'6". I will have to check you should know before you do this okay so five six so i you know when i'm actually about to submit this i'm going to um fix all that so you should have all the information you need don't be like me but um i could literally go like this um and just copy everything and bring it to the next page i'm not going to but just know like this little tabby thing is on every page okay so now let's put um her dress sketch here so I already have it saved under a little folder. Just need to figure out where that folder is. Let's go. I might need to refresh. Give me one second. I set all of it up before this started, but I think that some things needed to just refresh. So hopefully it's here. And if it's not, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, is it projects? Yeah, it's projects. Okay, so I, I create folders and stuff here. So I already have all of that information here. And then I'm pressing folders, and then I have client sketches. So I just made this, um, I called it client sketches, but really, I probably should have called it like, um, you know, DSC, SJ, blah, 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 you know, whatever that style number is. So um, to organize yourself, do that, like, um, just name your the folder after that client name. And that way, you don't have to search for it, like I just did. All right, I'm deleting these sketches that are here. And then I'm going to place this one. This is the main dress image. So I'm placing it here. I'm just shrinking it to fit into this little box. And sometimes I will remove the background. Again, this is a pro feature. I'm going to show you how to do it, but you don't have to. So I press edit here and I press background remover. Sometimes it doesn't come out right because this is a sketch created digitally and it's just pixels. And so sometimes there'll be like a little white line in here, but that one worked today. So we are all good. And I don't have a back sketch of this dress in um, Canva right now. Um, let me make her bigger. Because once I took out um, all the you know, all the cloud stuff that I put in the background of my sketches, it made everything, um, it made it all go away. So I'm um, sorry, it made it, you know, I don't, it's not as big anymore. But instead, um, I want them to get the idea that this is a two piece dress. So I will grab this sketch. And we're going to do the same thing that we did. I'm actually not going to make it smaller this time, because I know um, once we take away the background, it'll fit pretty good. Um, and I might have to adjust. But yeah, so I just took off the um, the background. Cool, cool, cool. And so this is this is my first page. All right, so the next page, I'm going to take that same image. Um, this is a shortcut, so you don't have to download it again. Just going to press this little um, button there that sh lets me show pages. I'm going to go back to here. 
I'm going to press this, duplicate it, and then I'm just going to drag it into that, um, into the spec sheet and just put it here. All right, so I'm going to add some random measurements. Sometimes it just pops back um, to the first page. I don't really know why. I can't really explain that. Um, but I'm going to add some random measurements. And I'm making them up. So do not judge my measurements if they're not right. Because obviously, you know, I will do, I haven't done her, um, her, uh, I haven't done her virtual appointment for um, her measurements yet. This is an out of state bride. But anyway, um, okay, so I'm going to say bus one inch below smallest, what does that say? Smallest part of bus? Oh, okay. It's basically like one inch, like around where your, your bra band would be. So I'm going to say she's 44. 44 inches and you can't see what I just did because I just made a copy. In fact, let me do that again. I don't want to confuse y'all. So first of all, these this was all the way out here. So I kind of dragged it so that everything fit within. Um, I'm actually just going to hit the text sign, hit body text that gives me this little um, text block that I can use. I'll drag it here and then I'm going to put the measurement. So I'll say it's 44 inches and then I'll say her bust. So bust around fullest part. In fact, we can navigate to this one because remember, I have a lot of those words already written out and I don't want to write again, you know? So I'm clicking here, I'm clicking um, example measurement form. I'm going to grab bus measured around fullest part, press copy. I'm just going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to say if she's 44, I'm just making this up y'all because I actually think that this is completely wrong. I might be at like an 18, a size 18 or something. But let's say, let's give her, I'm going to give her like a 50. I think she's more like a 50. And I think this should be more like a 46 or so. Maybe 46.5. I don't know. When I have to do this like on the fly, I'm, I don't always use my full sense. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab another measurement. Um, we're going to say shoulder to center of bust. 13.5 on here. So I'm going to say she has a larger bust. So I'm going to press that little duplicate button. I'm going to um, select all, press V, and now it's here. And then I'm going to grab this plus, and then that, if that was 13.5, I feel like because she has more bus, she's going to be like maybe 16. I'm just going to put 16. Because <clears throat> um, that one that we're looking at, this one here is like a size 10. Um, and then shoulder to waist where smallest part is. There's, I didn't have the um, reference here because I didn't finish it, but I'll just say that'll be like maybe 18. Nope, I don't know why that happened. Let's try it again. But you can see how easy it is to add things. Okay, press plus again. Let make that 18. You know, I'm gonna do 18.5, 18.5. She might even be like 19 or so. Um, and then I'll do one more. Um, so waste that smallest point, that is that 18.5 measurement. So plus, Press this, and then I'll say maybe her waist is like 40, 47. I'm going to say 47. Um, okay, so this is how you add um, measurements in here, and you, you could just type out all of them. You can also just do what I did. Also, use the measurements. Oh, what is that? Ain't nobody said nothing. Um, yes, 46 inches. 46.5. So, um, you know, use the measurements that you want, but you're really just using this to, um, just to record. Um, and let's jump to the next page. We can go to the detail page. So again, I am not going to take the picture and, you know, re-upload it or whatever. Instead, I'm just going to duplicate it and drag it to this one. All right. And then I'm going to make her really big. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to, I'm not going to, because I, I, that's more things that we don't need to do. All right. So what I do want to do is position the sketch to the back so that all those arrows and stuff are on the top. So I just, I just clicked on the um, sketch itself. Let me just bring this down. I want to make sure y'all can see. Okay. Let me get closer. Okay. So click out of it. So I'm clicking on the sketch itself. I'm pressing position and I'm pressing two back. So now the sketch is all the way to the back. And then it says sweetheart neckline. I'm just gonna do one so you understand what I'm doing, okay? 
Um, but it says sweetheart neckline. So I just move that arrow. I'm moving the arrow and I'm placing it, you know, where the sweetheart neckline is. And then net lace with appliques, V shape, top of ruffle. We're not going to do any of that, except I'm going to put um, over size mat satin V O W bow. And then I'm going to hit this and I'm going to point to it. Okay, you can also like do double. So uh, let me see. I'll do one more. I'm going to say, um, no, I don't know if I want to use the word heavy, but I'm going to say beaded. I guess I'll just say beaded rose. I'm going to have to think about how I really want to explain that. Um, but First, I would move this so you can move these and see how the arrow went with it. You can move these and then you can point to whatever it is you talk about. I want one more of those. So I just press that plus sign and I just want people to understand there's beaded rows here, whatever that's supposed to be. And now I can just drop the um, the arrow wherever I want it to be. So let's get close so you can see. But see that the arrow is now on these two so you can understand that it's you know beaded rose whatever the heck that's supposed to mean <laughs> um and so just for this kind of dress as you can see this dress would also have um and uh, like you know i would be making detail pages for every single one of the different details um that includes the overskirt that includes the the little flutter sleeves you know so imagine that um you could use this to show every part of what you're doing. And then this last page, um, I'm just gonna change a couple things so you can see it. I pressed the wrong button, y'all, sorry. Um, but I'm just gonna change a couple things so you can see it. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. And so I already have the lace that I'm using, or not, it's not lace, it's mesh. Um, so this is the mesh that I'm using. It's really cute, I'm so excited for this. Um, this is like her, her skin tone. So I'm dropping it over that picture um, and it just grabbed it as a picture. And then we're saying um, skin tone sparkle mesh, right? Um, and so now um, it's clear that the full dress is made out of this. And then I don't have the satin, but maybe I can do like this. Put this here. I want it to be clear and I'm making it bigger so you can just focus on that bow and that's it. And then I'm going to write matte satin blush bow. So it doesn't always have to be actual swatches. Matte satin blush bow. And then I'm just thinking, is there anything else I need? Um, I have these, these little pictures over here. I'm going to go back real quick, and I'm going to throw a picture um, for reference. So I'm going to make a copy of this page. So you can, uh, there's two ways to make copies. You can either hit here, these little three dots, press, um, you know, this, this shows up, and I can press duplicate page. So that's one way. And because I know I need a lot of pages, I'm gonna show you the second way. So let's make this collapse. Um, let's do this, the grid view. Let's go to the page I wanna copy. Again, I can press this and press duplicate page. And then the last way is I can just do this, hit the little, the plus there. Okay, so now that I've done that, let me throw a, picture. I want to erase all these though. These are not necessary. Well, no, no, they are. No, they are. I'm going to leave it. Actually, I'm going to need it later. So imagine if I, she liked this, this skirt and how it pulls on. So literally her skirt is going to be the same type of skirt. It's a pull on skirt, super easy to wear. Um, and so this picture is showing how you pull it on. I made another copy, right? So let's grab this one and then let's put another picture. We'll just delete this. And of course I would change the call outs to explain what I'm saying. So this, this is to, to indicate that this um, corset, um, this, is, this is a separate piece. It is not one piece, you know? So yes. So let's just look at what we've done here. You know, um, of course, you know, these, I'm gonna just delete these also, you can delete pages. So you, all the ways I just showed you to duplicate, remember it had copy, paste, add page, duplicate page, delete. Add page means add a blank page, watch. See, add a blank page. You don't need a blank page, um, but I'm just gonna delete these. So now I know what I need to do next and I would just make a copy. So I'm gonna make a copy of this one. 
like two more times so I can add all those other details. And you saw that I have a lot more pictures to add to this because I like to be super thorough. Um, and the last thing I wanna share with you about this is that this is really good for presenting to your customer. Um, if you print it out and you have all this stuff printed, um, you have the swatches on there, you have all that, this is like, is super impressive. Um, another way to show it is on your computer. So I'm gonna show you that you can just make it um, a presentation. This is why I like the Canva version. You could literally send your client this. Let me go back to the beginning. Not, not that beginning. Um, and also make sure before you use it, once you've made that copy, delete that page. But you can show them this, you know, and you can kind of go through it. And so here are the measurements. This is what, how we're going to make it, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, this is not centered, but center it, center it on yours. Um, but yeah, like you could literally show them this, print it out. You can put it in your binders. I don't know if you guys have like binders that you keep, like physical binders. You can save it to um, a Google Drive. Um, whatever you want to do, but this is beautiful to present and um, very detailed. I didn't even get as detailed as you can um, to fill this out. It could take you, you know, if you have everything assembled, maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Um, if you have to grab everything, it could take you about about an hour or so, but it is an hour well spent. So I hope that this is helpful to you and your business. Um, let me know if it's helpful. Please send me a DM, um, leave me a review. Let me know how this worked for you, if it's helped you, um, because I'm super excited for you and your business. And thank you so much for making this purchase.